Hi, in this video I will be showing you the AC compressor and how to install the AC in your EV. This is uh, for the cars that previously had AC in, in the car. So the, we will start from the beginning and on the left side we have the AC compressor connected to the 96 power supply. So this can be a power supply from 96 volts up to 400 volts. And this is 12 volt control, signal control to activate the, uh, the compressor. This is uh, 12 volt power supply for the fan, on the, for the cooling fan. Here we have the relays. So the four relays are for the AC. We have AC compressor relay and gear relays. First gear, second gear and third gear. And from the relays there is also a heating relay to use a PTC heater or any other heater in your vehicle. Next we have uh, heater cables, so this connects to your heater. And this is the thermal protection switch. This line is power input, so this is 96 or 400 volt power input. This is 12 volt power input, so you can use 12 volt to power the uh, control unit and the relays and on this line we have fan speed and evaporator fan that goes into the evaporator. The control unit looks like this, it can be similar and you can start fan with the clicks, you can see, uh, you can hear the relays switching Control the temperature using this knob, activate the AC or the PTC heater. It will uh, glow red if the PTC heater or the AC are activated. Now we don't have the connected uh, high voltage so it doesn't uh, glow in the red color. But you can see how that looks. It's a very simple setup and you can use it in any car that previously had AC. The only needed thing is to replace the compressor, connect the lines, input output and this wiring to make, your, uh, to make it easier to install. It's also possible to install it in the car that previously didn't have uh, the AC in the car but you'll need to also evaporator and many other parts. Uh, required for the AC to work. So this is a very simple setup and you have only a few lines, easy control unit, so it can be easily installed in any vehicle. That's it. For any other additional questions, please contact us or keep following us to see new updates or tests of this kind of system in the vehicle. We will sh certainly show some of the videos for the AC in future videos so please keep keep subscribed and follow us for more details